हेलो एवरीवन सो अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू माय प्रीवियस क्लास ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ कलेक्शन टू सॉरी कलेक्शन नंबर थर्ड वेयर आई हैव टू शो द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ स्टोर परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ आइटम कैटेगरी एंड प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड ऑन टोटल ऑर्डर एंड टोटल सेल सो लेट्स गो टू हेयर ओके लेट मी जस्ट रिक्रिएट एनी ऑफ द कार्ड लाइक replica even instead of doing this i can add from here also okay create a new card visualization store pen now let's create for first for store okay so store name store टोटल ऑर्डर सम टोटल ऑर्डर ओके रिमूव आइटम कैटेगरी फ्रॉम एयर लेट्स मेक इट शॉर्ट टोटल ऑर्डर एंड सेल बाय स्टोर ओके so this is the total order now i want to see for total sale sale amount so comparatively uh, total sale amount yeah sale amount is less than 1 minute sum of order quantity What is the sale amount then? Item price into I order quantity. Yes, this is right. Oh, oh, this is sale amount and order quantity is less. So for this kind of scenario. like when is one is too high and one is too low i think uh, we need to work in a different way yeah so now i just added the right scale so i have earlier what was happening so i had only one scale okay so now what i did i just added a scale for both one is for a uh, store and another is for a sale amount so right side is for order quantity okay and uh, sorry left side is for order quantity we can see when i click on order quantity i can see uh, 0 5 k 10 k these are the total order and when i click on sales amount right side we can see the value okay so let's give the name also okay otherwise it it may create a problem to understand left scale order quantity order quant tt okay and right scale so order quantity is there okay value scale right lines on left scale title sale amount okay sale amount this is the sale amount and this is order quantity now we can easily see in x category just give the store name store name sorry now for me this card looks good below in x axis we have the store name in the y axis in left side we have order quantity and right side is showing a uh, sale amount and here we can see sale amount green means sale amount and order quantity means uh, blue so let's give the name also sorry value also values okay 
huge scale format and huge scale abbreviation okay now we can see at the top of green we have in million and at the top of blue we have in uh, thousand okay so let's save the card so similar way i have to create for a uh, category wise and product wise okay so let me add this let me create a new card save as okay instead of by store i am going to create by category okay everything will be same only dimension will be changed from store to uh, store name to category so here i have suggestion when we have a multiple means a lot of uh, value in x axis or in dimension then that time if we go with the horizontal group bar it will look good this is my suggestion okay i will show you so here we have a lace then it's okay not not no uh, like not required but still let's see with horizontal horizontal group let's see with horizontal again we need to give the uh, category value scale sorry let me reverse this one more time revert revert is good okay there is no problem in revert so write the order quantity value right scale yes so right scale in value scale so when i click on this horizontal bar group bar where is the value scale no we have only value scale x okay yes okay in this option we don't have value scale in x at both side like top or down here we have only in top down option is not there okay so in domo down option is not there so let's uh, play with uh, let's work with a uh, vertical bar only then but still it's a visible so it's okay there is no problem let's work with this okay now save the card now we will create final card by item or can say by product So just change it. That's it. Because other calculation already done, so we need to make just a small changes. That's it. this is not looking good i think previous was better okay so let's save this card so we have done all the things okay so let me see the timing so in the next video or uh, in this video so in the next video i want to wrap up all the things i just i will just give a brief summary and i will close the session so let me add this this newly cards in the dashboard
okay so let me make it little bit more short yes so i have added this i just want to add one more header here just because it will show performance card performance okay so it is below cards are showing the performance of store category and products so that's why i given the performance card name okay see actually uh, this card need less space okay so i can make it small okay and other two card need more space so we can make it little bit large okay so in this card we can see uh, order quantity and sale co amount is coming in left side so let me customize this so it may look good amazing so now i moved it to bottom okay let's close this yeah now i i, I can see we have better visualization comparatively so if any card have a less category or less data then we can make it small and other if other card have a more volume or more category then we can make it little bit large okay so this is my dashboard that i have created now okay so i think uh yeah everything looks fine for me okay so in the next video uh i will just summarize all the things that's it thank you